Mrs. Mitchell and Josie and today we have a project uh, of coffee filter sun catchers yes and we hope that you follow along we miss you guys so what you need for this project are just run-of-the-mill coffee filters Sharpies. Sharpies. Yeah, those are one of Mrs. Mitchell's favorites. Spray bottle. And all that's in here is water. And markers. Yes. Washable. Well, washable markers. And a tip about uh, my markers that I use in the classroom is I duct tape all the lids down together so that when you remove the marker from the cap. Like for example, she... It, you can snap it back in, but and that it keeps it all together. And you'll know if a marker's missing. Yes, we can tell if a marker's missing. <laughs> a big part of this project is that we are learning about radial symmetry. Now, we've talked about symmetry in our class before, and it's when something looks the same on one side as the other, and then they match. Um, but this is radial symmetry, and radial symmetry means it's going to radiate out from the center of a circle. So it will match and have a pattern that is centered on the very middle. So what we're, oh, good idea, Josie. What we're going to do is create radial symmetry. I like what you're doing. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to fold it in half. And again, and half again, so it looks like a big old piece of pie. And I creased it, and then I open it back up, and now I know where the middle is. Good job, Josie. No, I did it more times. Oh, yeah, you did. You made eight pieces of pie. I only made four. So then we're going to proceed to go ahead and make a pattern that is consistent. So I think I'm going to make a sun by making a circle go all the way around. And then I'm going to make the rays come out of the sun in a pattern. The next phase is we're going to take those washable markers and we're going to color in um, we're going to color in our pattern how we want. Now, keep in mind the final product is going to bleed into each other, so this is very blending for your colors, so you don't want to put colors next to each other that don't blend nicely. Those are going to be colors that are opposite each other on the color wheel. Orange and blue do not play nice together. Red and green don't play nice together. What and about red and orange? Red and orange blend nice together. Those ones, they, they play well. But um, yellow and purple do not blend well together. They make, they make yucky colors when they're blended. So since I am making a sun, I'm gonna use all warm colors. The warm colors include, do you know what your warm colors are, Josie? It's red, mm -hmm. orange, and yellow. Yes, red, and orange, and yellow are all warm colors. I might want to do a blue. Here's for the fun part, <laughs> and also super important to have paper underneath. Yeah. And whatever paper you have underneath is going to make its own kind of artwork. Because um, there's like Sharpie that bleeds through. <laughs> it looks funny. Yeah. Sharpie that bleeds through. And definitely the washable marker will bleed through at this step too. So um, just a regular run-of-the-mill water. And you spritz it. Don't let them use it on stream. Oh, there's mine. And you just spritz it and it starts to make those colors bleed together. Make sure to get your edges. Okay, stop. So as you can see, 
the colors are starting to really do a nice job blending together. It's funny how mine did the sound. It did. It is funny. I'm going to give a little more it's support doing it. on my edges. Alright, so we will see what those look like when they all dry. Now, if you drown them in water, they're going to take a long time to dry. And you can see where Josie had some of her darker colors, like that green and the red mixing. It's making kind of some darker stuff. And that orange and green are kind of making some interesting color mixes. Little look right there where it's kind of like that green and the blue and yeah. the yellow. That's cool. For the watercolor method for this project, you're going to still use coffee filters, paper to go underneath the project, Sharpies, and you're going to use a watercolor. And a paintbrush. And a paintbrush and some water for our watercolor. Um, these are Prang watercolors, which are my favorite, but anything you've got will work. We're keep, still keeping with radial symmetry and our Sharpies. So this part of the process is the same as the first part. I'm going to do, oh, yeah, Josie's doing her folding. I'm going to do four this side. Okay. Because eight was too much and I took a very long time. Yeah. So for this one, I think I'm going to go with a flower. A couple of things to remember with our paintbrushes, they are like ballerinas. They dance on their tippy toes, they do not scoot on their bottoms. So let's be careful with our brushes so that they don't get all smashed down. Now for watercolors, we have to wake the watercolors up. So what I like to do is get my paintbrush with fresh water and put a couple of drops in each of the colors that I plan on using. Um, it's really important to not drown it. Just a couple of drops is plenty. I don't know if I'm going to use these colors, but I'll wake them up anyway. It's like, wake up! I woke up all Did you wake all yours up? Yeah. Okay. Um, we're not squirting water on the top of this later, but watercolors will blend together. So when you choose your colors, try to put colors next to each other that you are, know are going to play nice. Those choices are totally up to you. But what's fun about this yeah, go ahead. is watching the water move through the coffee filter because the coffee filter is very porous so the paint will it's like it's alive it moves and starts to spread out should I tell them what it is oh what you're painting yes it's a cat wearing a flower <laughs> a cat wearing a flower yeah that's cute. I had nothing else though. no that's a cute idea I've been painting along on my um, coffee filter flower here and I remembered a technique when I was when I was painting in this purple I was realizing that was very dark purple that I was getting and it was maybe a little bit darker than I wanted it to be so the way to make your paint not be as dark is to use a little bit more water but what's fun is to do that wet on wet technique that we've done before in class where we paint our paper or in this case our coffee filter we paint it with plain water and then we add like what I'm doing mm -hmm, you paint it with plain water then you add the the paint on top what's really cool about this project it spreads, it spreads. I'm gonna... so I pulled my camera way closer so you could get a good eye at this so I've got plain water down and then I'm gonna get a little bit of purple okay. and when I put it down ooh, it starts to spread and do cool things like this? But yes, like that. 
All right, so with that, that the colors will start to blend and, it, and it'll spread out on its own. So cool. You might want to help it. Yeah, you can move it around a like little bit. The, yeah. So these are finished for now and they just need to dry. They will dry a little bit lighter than they are. Mm -hmm. 